Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the problem on Kolmogorov-Simonov test. First, let us see the procedure. The step one here is rank the data from smallest to the largest. That is, we have to arrange the random numbers in an ascending order. That is, R1 must be less than or equal to R2, less than or equal to R3, less than or equal to R4, like that till Rn we have to arrange. And then in the step 2, we have to compute two things that is d plus and d minus. And we have a formula for d plus that is maximum of 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n. i by n minus ri. And d minus is equal to maximum 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n. ri minus i minus 1 divided by n. Using these two formulas, we have to find out d plus and d minus. And in a step 3, we have to compute d value, that is maximum of d plus and d minus. Whatever we calculated in the step 2, d plus and d minus value, based on these two values, we have to calculate the d value, which one is the maximum, that it will become a d. And in a step 4, Find the critical value d alpha comma n from the kolmogorov simonov table. And here we have a kolmogorov simonov table. This is the kolmogorov simonov table. In this table, they are given alpha and n value. So based on these two values, we have to find out the d alpha comma n value. That is the critical value. And the next is the step 5. We have to find out the compare here. D is greater than or equal to D alpha comma N. If this condition is satisfied, reject the hypothesis. If, sorry, here it is not greater than or equal to, it is greater than value. So, D is greater than D alpha comma N. Reject the hypothesis. If D is less than or equal to N, accept the hypothesis. This is the procedure we have to follow in kolmogorov simonov test. Now let us see the problem based on the kolmogorov simonov test. Here is the problem. Given a random number 0 0.44, 0 0.81, 0 0.14, 0 0.05, 0 0.93 are generated using a kolmogorov simonov test for uniformity of these numbers at alpha equal to 0 0.05 and d alpha comma n equal to 0 0.565 and compare f of x and sn of x on the graph. So here the solution is how we are going to calculate. So where n equal to 5. Why n equal to 5 is because they are given a 5 random numbers. And in the procedure we know that we have to arrange these 5 random numbers in an ascending order. This is the step 1. So here I arrange the values whatever they are given that I arranged in an ascending order. The first value is 0 0.05, 0 0.14, 0 0.44 and 0 0.81 and the next value is 0 0.93. These are the 5 values we, what we have. Then i by n is nothing but i value is 1 and n value is 5. So i by n it will become 0 0.2. Again here 2 divided by 5 0 0.4. Again 3 divided by 5 that is 0 0.6. Again 4 divided by 5 that is 0 0.8. Again 5 divided by 5 1.0. So the next is i minus 1 divided by n i minus 1 is nothing but i value is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 divided by 5 is nothing but it's 0 itself. So again i minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 5. 1 divided by 5 value is 0 0.2. Again here i minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 divided by 5 value is 0 0.4. Again 4 minus 1, 3 divided by 5, 3 divided by 5 is 0 0.6. Again here, 5, the i value is 5, 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 divided by n value is 5. So, we are going to get a value 0 0.8. Again, d plus value we have to calculate. d plus value, the formula is i minus n minus ri. So, i minus n is nothing but 0 0.2, 0 0.2 minus ri. 
0 0.05 that is nothing but 0 0.15 again here i minus n what is i minus n here 0 0.4 0 0.4 minus 0 0.14 that value we are going to get 0 0.26 again here we are going to get i minus n is 0 0.6 ri is 0 0.44 so we are going to get a value 0 0.16 again next is fourth value for i equal to 4 i n equal to 0 0.8 0 0.8 minus 0 0.81 is we are going to get a value the negative value that is minus 0 0.01 again i n value in the i value when i equal to 5 so i divided by n is 1.0 minus 0 0.93 that is positive value 0 0.01 we are going to get like that we have to calculate d minus also when i equal to 1 d minus value is r i is 0 0.05 i minus 1 minus divided by n is 0 we have here 0 we have so 0 0.05 minus 0 we are going to get 0 0.05 itself again here r i value is 0 0.14 and i minus 1 divided by n is 0 0.2 we are going to get a negative value that is minus 0.06 again here ri is 0 0.44 minus 0 0.4 is 0 0.04 the, when i equal to 4 we have ri value is 0 0.81 and i minus 1 divided by n value is 0 0.6 so we are going to get a value 0 0.21 again the fifth when i equal to 5 so we have a random number 0 0.93 minus 0 0.8 so 0 0.13 this is the value for d plus and d minus but what is the formula that we have here the maximum value we have to find out among these five which is the maximum value we have here is 0 0.26 is the maximum value for d plus and for the d minus the maximum value is 0 0.21 so what is the d plus value 0 0.26 and d minus value is 0 0.21 again d value we have to find out maximum of d plus and d minus which is the maximum of d plus and d minus this is 0 0.26 so d value is become 0 0.26 and critical value it's given uh, given 0 0.565 but if we want to find out using a Kolmogorov Simono table, if in the question they are give, not given, means we have to find out this value using a Kolmogorov Simono table. And alpha value they are given it is 0 0.05, and well, n value is number of random numbers that is n equal to 5. So let us see how we are going to calculate the critical value when alpha equal to 0 0.05. This is alpha value 0 0.05, and n value is 5. So in this row if we see that we are going to get a value 0 0.56327 so let us see here 0 0.565 they are given if they are not given using the columnar simono table we have to calculate this critical value and the fifth step is we have to compare the things so what is the d value we have 0 0.26 and d alpha comma n value 0 0.565 so 0 0.26 is less than 0 0.565 therefore accept the hypothesis this is about kolmogorov simono table and here next thing is we have to compare f of x and sn of x in the question they are given compare f of x and sn of x on the graph let us see the graph in the graph we have to plot along with the x-axis we have to plot the random numbers and along with the y-axis we have to plot i divided by n the first uh, value let's see the first value here the first value of a random number is 0 0.05 i divided by n is 0 0.2 so here we have to plot here 0 0.05 random number here and i divided by n value is 0 0.2 so mark here and let's see the next value that is random number is 0 0.14 around here we are going to take 0 0.14 and i divided by n value is 0 0.4 so mark here again the next value the next value of a random number is 
0.44 and i divided by n is 0.6 so 0.44 and i divided by n is 0.6 again here 0.81 and i divided by n is 0.8 0.81 and again 0.88 again in this random number 0.93 and i divided by n is 1.0 so 0.93 and i divided by one value is 1.0 so mark all these five points and join all these five points you are going to get a staircase like structure and slope you have to mark along this uh, about the 45 degrees to the x-axis so mark the slope that slope is called as f of x and this staircase like structure is called as sn of x so whatever we got above the slope that value all values are called as d plus values and d minus value below the slope whatever the values we have that we are going to call it as d minus value but the maximum value we have to find out here so maximum value where we got here so you can see here three areas we got three areas and this one is fourth area we got above the slope but this is the maximum area which is covered where we got that maximum area here that is ri value is 0.14 and i divided by n value is 0.4 we got so let us see in the in the table what we got so 0.14 and 0.4 we have when i value i divided by n equal to 0.4 d plus maximum value to 0.26 this is the maximum value we got using a table so when you see the graph the same thing we are going to get here so again in the d minus value d minus value if you are getting if you see here that is 0.81 here and 0.8 here this is the maximum area which is covered below the slope so we are going to get this as the maximum of d minus so let us see in the table also what is the maximum value we got for d minus that is 0.21 when we got that value when r i equal to 0.81 and i divided by n is equal to 0.8 so the same value we got using this graph also so i hope you all understood this cosmograph simono table and the problem if you are having any doubts you can comment and share this video along with your friends thank you everyone